Samsung's Galaxy S5 may not look all that different from the S4 on the outside, but on the inside, it's a completely different animal. There's lots of hardware upgrades, a redesigned interior, and a whole new way to open the case. I'm Bill Detweiler, and this is Cracking Open. The S5 is slightly larger and heavier than last year's S4, but I doubt many buyers will notice the difference. What they will likely notice is the new hardware. Our AT&T model with LTE has a quad-core 2.5 GHz Snapdragon 801 SOC. On models without LTE, Samsung uses its own Exynos 5422 SOC. Now, all versions have a 5.1-inch 1080p display, 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of built-in storage, a micro SD card slot, a 16 megapixel rear camera, 2 megapixel front camera, NFC support, IR blaster, and a brand new fingerprint sensor. The S5 also has an ingress protection rating of 6.7. Now this is the same rating given the S4 Active, which Brian Tong and I torture tested at CES this year. And it means the phone provides complete dust protection and limited water protection. Now, unlike the S4 Active, or the regular S4 for that matter, cracking open the S5 is a rather complicated affair. To begin, remove the battery cover and the battery. Then remove the three screws on the inner cover. Now, near one of the screws is a small panel. You'll need to remove it and then detach the connector underneath. Now, this is really important for the next step, which is to remove the front panel and display assembly. So, break out your hair dryer, heat gun, or other warming tool and slightly heat the edges of the panel. Then, gently pry it loose. Be extremely careful not to overheat the device and warp the plastic or insert your tools too far and damage the display or other internal hardware. Now, starting at the top, lift the panel away from the body, but don't go too far. There's a connector here that we must detach. Now, remember that connector from the back of the phone? It snakes its way through the device and is connected to the home button on the bottom of the panel. Since we already disconnected it, you can gently push and pull it all the way through and then completely remove the panel and display assembly. The motherboard and other internal components are attached to the inner frame, which is held in place with several screws. Now, after removing the screws, we can separate the frame from the inner cover on which the external speaker, headphone jack, and buttons are located. After removing a few screws and detaching the remaining connectors, we can lift out the motherboard. As the daughter board is glued to the internal frame, I'm going to leave it in place. Finally, we can detach the rear-facing camera, front-facing camera, and then remove the motherboard's metal shields. With that, our teardown is complete. So why did Samsung dramatically change the phone's internal design? Well, I reached out to the company for an official response, but didn't hear anything back as of this taping so I'm left to speculate. Now, I doubt it has anything to do with the ingress protection rating, as the IP67 rated S4 Active was built like the original S4 and not like the S5. Instead, I suspect it has to do with durability and repairability. It may sound counterintuitive that making the phone more complicated to open would actually make it easier to repair, but in the S5's case, it really does. You see, Opening the S4's case and removing the motherboard and other internal components was remarkably easy, but because the front panel and display were basically fused to the internal frame, it was difficult to replace a cracked screen. Now, on the S5, however, replacing a broken screen is relatively simple, even with the adhesive, and it can be done without removing any other internal components. Having cracked open or tested every Galaxy S model, I continue to be impressed by the engineering effort Samsung puts into their phones, but I just wish they would put the same effort into giving their phones a more elegant and innovative design. For more information on the S5, including real-world tests, check out the full CNET gallery. And to see more teardown photos and read my full hardware analysis, go to techrepublic.com forward slash cracking open.